As a new student at Whitworth, your student will be enrolled in our first year seminar program, and the instructor for their first year seminar will also be their academic advisor for their first semester here at Whitworth. These advisors are hand-selected and are eager to get to know your student and to help them get connected here at Whitworth. If your student starts to experience struggle in any of their academic courses here, a really good idea is to send them to their academic advisor to try to sort out the problem, do some troubleshooting, and get connected to the resources that we have here on campus. In my experience, every student encounters struggle at some point during their college career. We wanna help you be prepared to help your student when that starts to happen. So when your student calls you and is upset about something, one of the best things that you can do is help them learn to advocate for themselves. There are lots of people here at Whitworth who are eager to help your student learn and grow from adversity and challenge. So direct them to their academic advisor, their resident assistant, their resident director. Invite them to talk to their faculty. Everybody at Whitworth is eager to help your student when they start to struggle. So encourage them to take advantage of those resources and relationships. If your student really seems to be struggling, the other thing you can do is encourage them to ask for help as soon as they start to struggle. We like to use the analogy of a bike, riding a bike, and you come upon a big downward slope. At the top of that hill, if you start to lose control and you ask for help then, we can really quickly help you get back in control. But the further you go down that hill and the more momentum and speed that builds up, the more difficult it becomes to regain control. So when you ask for help early, we have more resources, more tools, more options available. If you wait until things get really bad, the options are more limited and the course correction takes more effort. So as your student student encounters struggle, which is inevitable, encourage them to reach out and encourage them to do that as soon as they start to encounter difficulties. So speaking of resources, here are some things that are available at Whitworth that we find very effective in helping students make an academic transition. We have the Whitworth Composition Commons, which is eager to help any writer at any stage of the writing process. Many of our departments offer supplemental instruction, which is small group coaching and tutoring, as well as one-on-one -on -one tutoring in some cases. We also have the Student Success Team, which is a team of highly trained staff and students who provide peer coaching for students and who come together to help students when they start to disengage from their academics here at Whitworth. So all of those resources are available and you can encourage your student to connect with the Composition Commons, um, with their instructors regarding supplemental instruction or tutoring, and with the Student Success Center. Finally, if your student was on a 504 plan during high school and needs official accommodations here at Whitworth, we're very eager to make a Whitworth education accessible to your student. They should contact our educational support offices and will receive instruction on the kinds of documentation and conversation that needs to occur in order for us to put those official accommodations in place. We'd be happy to do it. Just give us a call. The last thing that I really want to tell you about is our registrar's office. The registrar's office is responsible for all of a student's registration records and academic records. This is the place that your student will go if they need to add or drop a class or manage their registration in any way. Most incoming students are registered by now, but you can make changes to your course schedule all the way through the 10th day of classes without it having any effect on the student's transcript. We also expect to receive scores for AP tests and IB tests during the month of July, and we'll apply those things to your student's transcript at that time. If you have any questions at all about schedules or registration or transfer credits, contact the Registrar's Office at registrar at whitworth.edu. I hope this selection of tips has been helpful and useful to you as you think about making the transition to academic life at Whitworth. We can't wait to see you.